Holidays are here, and so is fashionable fitness. Gift yourself a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G, a phone that folds in half to literally stand on its own. Pair it with the Galaxy Watch 4 for ultimate wellness and wow factor. Check health stats, flex personal records. Over 90 activities can be tracked, like biking, swimming, golfing, and more. Invest in yourself with tech made to crush goals. Holidays open up with Galaxy. Shop it all at Samsung.com. 5G connection and availability may vary. Check with Carrier. Products sold separately. For the ones who get going when the going gets tough. And the ones who know we're tougher together. For the pathfinders breaking new ground. Granger offers supplies and solutions for every industry, as well as fast access to experts and 24-7 customer support. Because we know you have people depending on you. So you can always depend on us. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Podcast man, podcast man, does whatever a podcast can, spins a yarn any size, catches listeners just like flies, look out, there goes a podcast man. That was awful for me. I just didn't know how to harmonize with that. Hey, Merry Mini Monday, Chunkies, I'm Carter. <laughs> I'm Doge. I, just, I hate jo- when I come up short. Jordan, when you get creative on the song, you, uh, however long the song goes, by the I'm end Jordan. of it, I'm Jordan. You're Jordan. However long the song goes, by the end of it, you're a measurable distance closer to a Jack Black impression. <laughs> it just, the longer it goes, Definitely. the more Jack Black he gets. The more specifically, the more Dewey Cox it gets from School of Rock. The older that I get, uh huh the more I want to be like Jack Black as I age. He seems like pretty unproblematic, pretty chill, pretty fun, pretty chill, dude. Pretty fun, pretty, pretty, unpro- pretty, I, the, pretty high I, energy. I grow in my appreciation of his like sensibilities and sense of humor. Like he is still funny to me. Yeah. Yes. And his, his style has not changed at all. Like no. his jokes didn't evolve. They just didn't need to. There is something about the way he does funny. His jokes, that his is jokes are for eight-year-olds, but right. I'm still eight, so I right. like him still. Right. Yep. Did y'all say who you were? So thanks, did we just way. fly? Yeah. No, I'm Doge. I think I said that. I'm Doge. You did, probably. and I said mine. Well, Adam… You don't say. I guess you don't say anything anymore on the mini Monday wow. intro. I guess you just don't wow. even care about this. I guess podcast. you just wow. don't even want to be part of this podcast. <laughs> uh, speaking of the Spider Men's and the Spider Mans, yes, uh, there was a trailer. I don't know if y'all saw mm, it. If you don't trailer. want to take the time, you can go watch it right now. No, thanks to. Um, I mean, it just blew up in the world. It also blew up in our Discord. Sometimes yep. we have uh, people on that highest level of Patreon in our Discord channel that are breaking news. To me, at least. Yeah. I don't know if, if it's to I, us. If I know there's a trailer coming out in a day, I don't even… I'm like, somebody's going to pop it in Discord. Someone's like I 100% it just up. rely on that Discord. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so we got a new Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. Mm-hmm. And it's it's just giving us all the candy. It's giving us all the goodies. It's yeah. letting us know who all is in this. Does anybody want to break that trailer down a little bit? Before we talk about the trailer itself, um, I have… A not so bold prediction. Spider Man No Way Home has Marvel like fully back, like in people's. I think people are so excited yeah. about this. Oh, I'm really dude. so excited to be feeling that um, excited tension of like an Avengers movie coming out. I mean, it, it really feels like feels, Endgame is coming out again to me. It really, really does, and I think I think the world is ready. And I I think this movie is going to make a billion dollars. I yeah. think it's going to be the biggest movie of the year, hands down. Like I pretty, think, pretty no contest, blow everything else out of the there's water. There's going to be some, you know, Marvel heads that this might be, I bet this might be some people's favorite. I mean, we could, we'll, we'll see what kind of legs it. Clifford has. Clifford might really surprise us. But Which we forget is I Marvel. think he's got big legs. Yeah. yeah, it is Marvel. That is crazy. Clifford's yeah. going to be an Avenger. It's yeah. weird. That's interesting. Clifford but there was return. a There's a uh, circulating viral video right now of Tom Holland being at, and some of the cast obviously, being at the the debut of that trailer. Have y'all seen that? Yeah. And he gets emotional. 
He like no. starts crying. He's just like yeah. overwhelmed because it's a standing ovation and people are freaking out as you Tom, should with that trailer. Tom. And then he's like, do y'all want to watch it again? And everybody starts <laughs> cheering. And then he says, roll film. And they just watch the trailer <laughs> again all together. But yeah, just the energy of that fan base, which is yeah. also us. It's our energy. Yeah. I mean, oh, I would sure. be there. I would be there doing he that same thing. He cried because he felt two chunks in that moment. Yeah. But he we get, like, I mean… Jordan? Carter? Does? We still not have C. We still ha- not. We have still C? not have C. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> we haven't seen uh, Defoe's face, but it's his voice. hundred. Do you think that's still going to be the reveal? Hey, can I a tell you bit? something? Can I tell you something? There's Are we going to see there's his a face second though? goblin in that trailer? One thousand percent. I think it's Defoe in a different suit. You think so? I think okay. it's Defoe without the mask. I paused it. I was watching it yep. again last night after we watched Because our, our other options are that it's cool surfboard Harry Osborn goblin. They're definitely or, not having James Franco be involved in this. Absolutely in horrible Dane DeHaan goblin from Amazing hey, Spider-Man. If somebody if somebody's getting redeemed, Dane DeHaan's my vote. No way. Absolutely not. I'm I'm hundred percent confident that's Norman without a mask on. It's interesting. That's, that's Defoe. Yeah. My favorite moment of that trailer is when uh, it's definitely his glider, Peter and Doctor Strange are just kind of like standing, and there's just the world, the universe is opening, and yeah. there's all that like really bright, like purple happening. He's like, they're coming. I was like, he can't, I can't stop it. I was like, what is this scene? What is this coming? scene? Is, is going to me blow yeah. my mind? I have no idea. There, there might be a screenshot in Spider Man No Way Home. That's going to be broken down for months after. Yeah, because yeah. they're just throwing. They're probably gonna. It's like a Where's Waldo of. Villains that they're probably going to throw yeah. out there. There's been like the Lizard Man. Like I think there's been like mm-hmm. all mm-hmm. sorts of Lizard stuff. Man. My favorite Spider-Man villain, Lizard Man. Lizard Man. <laughs> yeah. So if we're going to talk about this trailer, we should probably right here go ahead and say massive spoiler warning oh, for yeah, yeah, Spider-Man yeah. No Way Home. If you're one of those folks <laughs> who does not like to watch trailers because you feel like they give a lot away… This is a trailer to stay away from. <laughs> Dude, I sort of feel like the Marvel trailers are the safest trailers in the world to watch because of how misdirecty they are. They are. Also, but a flex Sony, Sony trailers are not. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. And that's the thing to remember about this movie. Like, these, these posters, the official posters for Spider-Man No Way Home are actually the very worst movie posters I've ever seen for a movie. <laughs> They're unbelievably terrible. And… The Homecoming and Far From Home posters are pretty notoriously bad as well. And it's because Sony's in charge of the marketing for these movies. That's part of the the agreement, uh, the contract to get Tom into the MCU. Sony's like, you guys can help us make the movie, but we're in charge of the trailer cuts and we're in charge of the marketing. And The Far From Home poster with all the stickers, like it's a suitcase. I really liked that poster. That's fun. That's a teaser poster. But then they also do the, the classic Floating Heads poster. And that sure. one is like but and up of Tom Holland, Nick Fury, and Mysterio. And it's, hey, that's the it's only part I need. Horrible. Everything above the butt. That's what I want to see of Spider-Man. <laughs> At least but they yeah, just I don't barely know. got the most important part. Do you guys feel like this trailer gave a ton away? I feel like I this don't. trailer… I feel like this trailer… No, I, it's nothing I didn't think was coming. Yeah, That's the thing. I feel like there's… Like this movie has been so heavily rumored. It is impossible for me. I think just because of what I look at on Instagram… To go to my Discover page without blurry, like, set photo leaks and, like… Oh, I haven't seen any of that. Yeah. Like, it, it's… To me, this movie is is not entirely leaked and not entirely ruined. But it's, like, I feel like I already know so much of what happens in this movie. I wish that these trailers had stuck to… Like, even the first trailer. I wish we didn't see a pumpkin bomb. I wish all that we had seen was Doc Ock on the bridge. And yeah. then we get in the movie and go… Oh my goodness, Defoe's back. Oh my gosh, I Lizard say, Man is back. Electro's back. I say congrats to them for not showing Toby or Andrew because you know they're I am, in this. I am you so glad they didn't show Toby this. or Andrew. Yeah, but that has to be in the theater. I mean, imagine, I'll tell you what. I have a theory. Me, okay. This is… Go ahead and turn… Go ahead and skip about a minute ahead if you are… If you're somehow still listening but also don't want to hear theories for some reason. Go ahead and skip right now. Doc Ock's going to help them. Yeah, Totally. Doc Ock's going to help him. In fact, I'm not convinced that he's bad at any point in this. Yeah. Like, I, I could see him… The reason he's searching for Peter is to try to and try fix to get whatever's happening. Yeah. Yep. So, it's interesting that Strange said these villains… These folks all died fighting Spider-Man. It's their destiny. Because, uh, like, Thomas Hayden Church's Sandman notably did not Never die. died. 
Uh, we've got the lizard, lizard in never Amazing died. Spider-Man 1 who did not die. Uh, lizard Man. Lizard, lizard man. man. Sorry. Carter's favorite superhero, Lizard Man. Did Electro, not did. <laughs> Electro did, right? Electro, his electricity dissipated. So Goblin, Goblin accidentally uh, glided himself. Yeah. Gob kebab. Gob kebab. Dang, that was the joke. Should have said that last week in our Spider-Man nice. episode. Nobody's really going to hear it now. It still hits. It still hits here. That was really funny. Yeah, I just Guys, feel like they've, there's, there's, I don't know. I, I, I'm really glad we're saving, if they're truly in the movie, and I, I feel like I have to include that if, although they almost certainly are, I'm really glad we're saving Toby and Andrew for a theater reveal. Mm-hmm. Because oh, yeah. like, to me, well, like- I hope I th- we do. There's still a more than a month yeah, before that movie. True. I, I won't really be don't. watching any more stuff no, that comes out. I, I think point. I need to be I'm done good. because they're giving a lot away. It's like if the Mandalorian trailers had started to hint at some sort of tiny Yoda or the season two trailers had started to hint at a Luke Skywalker, I think right. I would have been disappointed. Right. Because those moments to me stand out as moments where in, a, like, I don't know if you guys have watched the like Disney gallery stuff, the making of the Mandalorian, but they, they talk specifically about those two moments in the respective season documentaries about, hey, it was super important to us that this stuff was not spoiled. They shot the Luke Skywalker stuff over a year before it was released. And they said, like, Every day they're waking up going, oh my gosh, somebody's going to post about it. Somehow somebody's going to find out. And they right. didn't. And that's why that moment to me is like, that is a highlight of the past 20 years of pop culture to me of just yeah. being completely blown away by Luke Skywalker and the Mandalorian. And right. I hope that we're saving some reveals like that for Spider-Man. I have to think yeah, we just, absolutely definitely are. I think that the biggest twists of the movie are not even, like I don't, I think… I think there's enough left here. This is a two hour and 36 minute runtime. Yeah, that's a long movie. I have to think that there is enough left here that the biggest stuff we couldn't even take a swing at yet. Yeah. I hope. I really hope. I really hope. I've got some other theories that I'm actually a little nervous (laughs) are right to the point where I don't want to put them out there because I don't want somebody to be mad at me. (sighs) Theorizing in general, I just feel like I've been broken by Game of Thrones. And I, I don't say that often enough. That is that is my unique place of brokenness. I, do you guys remember, like right before the final season came out, it was after the second episode aired where they're like gathering everybody up for the Battle of Winterfell. I found that theory online that was like, oh my gosh, guys, I think I figured out how Game of Thrones is going to end. And I right. love it. And I sent it right. to both of you. And then yeah. it just wasn't that. And I got my hopes so high. And they're yeah. dashed upon the rocks of reality. Yeah. I'm afraid to theorize now. You just ended up squinting through an hour and 10 minutes of an episode. Exactly. So you have like, been I so someone, burned by Game of Thrones that. and DC EU yeah. stuff. Yep. I just need… He's broken. I need a movie to come out and heal you. And who has a more interesting story than Doge the Broken? I need yeah. you… No. I need a I lo- to come Listen, out and I heal love, you. I love big. I fall hard. You know? That's me. Yeah. Hard on my sleeve. Always, you, you always about to get ripped up. You have been able to enjoy a sequel to anything that you like for like four years. That's called anxiety. <laughs> if, if you like something, if you go and back they're to like, Kingdom of the more Crystal of this, Skull, it's you're been like, decades. No. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah exactly. It's been over a decade that this man. Has exactly. Been. Basically, on, Do- Doja's whole flavor is like, I really liked that, and somebody's like, actually, there's another one, and he's like, Mm-mm. Mm-mm. no, thank you, that's enough. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like second dessert? No. Um, eh, maybe sometimes. Uh, it's going to be feeling like second and third and fourth dessert. Two Chunks is MCU for the next two months, basically. Jeez. Uh, as I guess, yeah, because these movies the are now seem to be canonically MCU, huh? Yes. And uh, we've got… This is our last mini Monday before we start doing Hawkeye, which wow, yeah, wow, the more wow. trailers I see, I'm I'm really excited for that. I think it's going to be so, so fun. That'll so fun. We, we need to get some games in. And if this episode runs over a little bit, I'm sorry, it's probably what the Chunkies want. Mm-hmm. So I want us to start by going to the Cool Kids table. Let's play a little bit of Cool Kids mm-hmm. and revisit that. This is one of our newer games on Two Chunks and a Hunk on these mini Mondays. But Cool Kids is looking at another IMDb algorithm, so you know it's going to be fun. <laughs> About popular celebrities. And it's based off of which celebrities on IMDb are being searched the most right now. And usually we try and have these guys pull from the top 25. To shorten it up a little bit, all you guys have to do is get three. And you go back and forth. (laughs) The number has gotten smaller every time, I feel like. Maybe it was three last time. 
feels well, impossible. Five who's or something last who's going first? But three. Remember, this is current events as of November 19th. Uh, let's I have think the Jordan person who go goes first, first think, should be whoever has been Googled the most recently. Whoever has been looked up on IMDb the most recently. So, mm. which one of us is that? Probably who, yeah, who are you guys looking for? Who are you trying me. to find credits? I'll tell you Probably right now, me. it's about 300 episodes of Two Chunks and a Hunk and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, start us off. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Holland. Who? Timothy Holland. Looking for him at the Cool Kids table. I'm checking it out, looking around. Hey, guys. How's it going? Good to see you. Nope. Wow. Okay. Nope. Guess trailers don't matter. Uh, Sadie Sink. What's Sadie Sink from? The Red, 10 minute, mm. all too well, 10 minute short film. Mm-hmm. That was a great guess. She's from not Stranger there. Things. She's not, not there. in the top 25. Nope. Dang. I guess nobody's heard of that oh. Taylor Swift person. Jordan? Mm, let me think. How many guesses do we get? Or do we get like three strikes? I don't ever remember how this works. Well, let's just do three strikes. Let's see how far okay. we get before you have three okay. strikes. I like that. Oh, uh, dude. Correct. Kieran Culkin. Ah. Uh. A bing, 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 bing. He's at the cool kids table. He's yes. somewhere right in the middle. He's 15. Sure. Yo, Sunday's episode of Succession. It's the lat. It's two episodes ago from the Monday that you'll hear don't this. Don't say anything. It's wild. Don't say anything. It's wild. Oh, great, great. I haven't even now watched I know, a single, Well, now I know it's wild. I haven't even watched a single episode of that show, and now I know to prepare for something wild. At Can some I point. look up people's names as long as I don't see what their uh, position is? Not for this round. Next time we play, you can do that. Okay. <laughs> you got to earn it. You got to put in put in the hours. Um, You well, know I what? His name, so. I think people are still talking about you. Let's give Victoria Pedretti a shot. I think I've guessed her every single time we've played this game. You know what? You got to stick with that bread and butter. She's at the cool kids table. She's 16, right below mm. Kieran Culkin. Mm. Great. She dropped 10 spots recently. Great. From that top 10. Kieran went up 45. Whoa. No, 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 no. Nicholas Braun. <laughs> Nicholas it's, Braun. It's Brown. Nicholas Braun. Nicholas Braun. Looking for you. Top 25. Nicholas. Nope. What? <laughs> not there. <clears throat> He's so not cool anymore, dude. Nobody's talking He's about He's like Nicholas the most Braun. popular character from the most popular TV show on television right now. That's such a crazy Shh. guess. I'm oh, sorry. really? He's in Friends? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's friends. He's Ross. Say. The largest friend. <laughs> Ross is, he's Ross, the main the friend. The largest one. The one who everyone else is friends with. Oh, that's two strikes for Jordan. Wait, we go strikes? I yeah, thought it was just get three. Really. No, it's strikes now. It's strikes now. But y'all Ooh. are tied. Y'all both only have one. Is anybody, is anybody hate searching Jake Gyllenhaal? <laughs> you're th- Jake Gyllenhaal is your guess? Yeah, I think so. He's not there. Bung bong. But what if he's st- strikes. But Carter, what if he still has the scarf? <laughs> Stop. J1. What say you? Give me a moment. From this moment, I will love you. I'm sticking with succession. Jeremy Strong. Nay. No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, he's not there. Uh, Doge, this is it, man. If you get this one, you're at the cool kid's table. While Jordan wow. goes and finds a spot on the floor on the well, stage. I'm going to give him a swirly. Haley Stein Feld? Or yeah. Field? Field? Feld. Field or Feld? I don't know, actually. It's a good Haley guess. Jerry, Haley it's, Jerry it's Seinfeld. Felt. It's a very good guess. She's not there. The game goes on. Uh, I guess I don't know what's out right now. Yeah, I don't either. That that look seemed condescending, Carter. Yeah. You got something to say to us? Well, if y'all would only just look at all the answers, you would know them. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, clearly, there's 23 more you haven't guessed. 
Okay. Whoever gets this next cool kid. Now, if it's you right now, Jordan, Doge gets another shot because you went first. Yes, we all know how games work. Okay. <laughs> so nasally. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you all know how games work, right? <laughs> okay, Succession's not working for me, except for Kieran, for some reason. I can't help. No, I'm not even going to say that. What am I missing? What's out? Doge is looking at his phone. Doge is looking at his I'm phone. Texting, I'm texting my wife. A likely story. That's probably what I'd say, too. Just if I was send cheating. him a screenshot of IMDb. Yeah. Texting my wife saying, can you believe I have to do this dumb podcast with these people who don't even recognize cool kids when they think of them? What is out? You know what? You know what? Hmm. No. Hmm. No. Tell it's me. Too, it's too simple. It's too, Give it to it's me. It's far too simple. <laughs> I've got my guess. My next guest locked and loaded. Good for you, man. Just waiting for, waiting for the slow folks to get out of the... <laughs> bing 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 she's at the cool kids table number 22 that was my next guess <laughs> number 22 Whoa. all that time I spent thinking about whether to say Zendaya is now wasted time, think time spent thinking about Zendaya is never wasted my friend it's true better to have thought about Zendaya and lost than never, never to have thought, thought at all. Zendaya at all. Boys, I have a bold prediction mm -hmm. that the good doctor is in for the first time, maybe in his life. Do, do, do we have room at our cool kids table for Alfred Molina and his four giant robot arms? Oh, interesting. I don't think so. Good guess, but no. Jordan <sighs> is the coolest of coolest kids. Some notables here. Are Anna de Armas. So we're still talking, people are still talking wow. this James Bond. She was number six. Number eight and nine are a mother and son duo, Rebecca Ferguson, Timothy Chalamet. Yeah. Okay. And then we have Jimma Chan at 10. People still talking about Eternals. Barry Coogan at 11. Leah McHugh, who is our super de duper dump for Eternals, oh. is <laughs> number true. 13. Then we have Leah Sado at number 14. Um, Richard Madden at 17. So we've got four wow. Eternals up Eternal's there. Eternals just dominating. Eternals taking over. This list. Gal Gadot at 21, likely because of Red Notice. Because of Red and Notice. And then at 25, Leo DiCaprio with the new trailer, uh, mm. Don't Look Up, the new uh, oh, yeah. McKay film. I haven't watched the trailer that yet. That looks fun. That looks really fun. It looks really, really good. It looks really good. Have Modern we, day strange love kind of vibe. Have you guys seen, speaking of one of our beautiful, cool kids, Barry Coogan, Keegan, Kagan. I say Barry. Keegan. Barry, I say Keegan. You say Keegan. Keegan. Ke Keegan. Keegan. Uh, one I of our have beautiful. Gone Kogan. <laughs> <laughs> so Barry is heavily rumored to play the Joker opposite Robert Pattinson at some Fine. point down the line. That the rumor is coming from a pretty reputable rumor mill who has been right about several castings in Ooh. DC World, specifically Matt Reeves' DC World with this movie. Ooh. So it's not confirmed, but it is it is highly likely that in a potential The Batman 2 or The Batman 3 or The Batman Resurrections, The Batman Reloaded, The Batman <laughs> Retribution. Batman vs. Predator. The Batman vs. Bat the nine. Predator. Bat 9. The Bat Saga. Uh, bat we, could get a, we, could get, we could get a Barry Joker. Oh, I'm would be down for that. Pretty yeah. cool, sure. right? Sure. I think that would be great. I like that. I haven't pretty ever seen him casting. do anything that made me think that he could handle that, but People said the same thing about uh, Heath Ledger. Heath Jared Ledger. Leto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to end this episode, Hold let's on. play. Uh, oh no! Oh, no. Next Hold on. No. From what? I was just gonna say. I think I'm undefeated in Cool Kids Table, and I you are the coolest kid. Yeah, I, think. I think you are. I think that's how that works. I you think know that what you're not undefeated in. That's not a surprise to anybody listening that you're cooler than me. <laughs> Except for our entire Discord. What am I not undefeated in? <laughs> Let's play extra credit. Good. Good. And we're going to be doing it with the amazing Spider-Man series. <gasps> There's a Blue Jay in my front yard. There's Toronto. a snake in my front boot. 
Dude, this um, podcast has, over the past month, slowly turned into Jordan's Animal Corner. <laughs> I've never had a window in front of me. <laughs> you give us I live updates before. on every animal that might be out. Like, there's a black cat who probably going to come by today. <laughs> Dude, cool, there's, fun, there's fun wildlife out here. <laughs> because we're not going to be able to spend as much time with Andrew Garfield on many Mondays as we would want, let's do it now. Yeah. So that means yeah. extra credit today can be played with Andrew Garfield, Emma Stone. It could be played with Dennis Leary, Martin Sheen, Sally Field. Who else we got? Mm. Dane DeHaan. Wait, Dane so we are, ex- we are explicitly playing with a movie that we haven't even gotten to yet on our list. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We don't have to. No, let's no, do it. We got it. it. Because no, when we talk about like, I love it. It feels easier. You can. Jamie Foxx, Paul Giamatti. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Felicity Jones. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. DJ Novak. Vo- boy, Amazing Spider-Man 2 feels like it ate some really bad Chinese takeout because that boy is bloated. <laughs> Have y'all read it gonna be? Kevin Feige's notes on Amazing Spider-Man yes. 2 that Sony it's did wonderful. not follow? We'll, we'll read it out loud on the show. Bless you. Sorry, it hurt me. <laughs> you know what? If we want, if we want to throw in, uh, you know, we could throw in a Molina. We could do no. no. I, I'm sticking with I'm sticking with Amazing Spider Man. That's good because we won't play a game while we we're doing those. Throw in a Toe for Grace if you wanted to. We yeah, we'll add Toe for Grace to our list of possibilities. Okay, that's good. That's yeah. going to really change the. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, the Amazing Spider Man and Amazing Spider Man Two entire cast plus special guest star Toe for <laughs> Grace. Toe for Grace. As y'all are <laughs> pondering on which actors to choose, I feel like we might have a lot of new listeners. I would like to say Extra Credit is a game that's been around almost since day one, uh, and it's fun because it's hard. You know, it's fun. It's like the it's like watching the people chase the cheese down the hill mm-hmm. side and in, in yeah. wherever that is. Yeah. Let's start with it's Ga- just like, oh, Andrew Arfield. Okay. Andy Garf. Andy Garf. Andy Garfia. Andy Garfia. We got a social network in there for <laughs> sure. Social right? network defo up there. Social network yep. defo up there. Lock in social network. Social network meta, the movie. Lock it in. Uh, bing, 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 bing. Number two. Number two. Amazing Spider Man. Amazing Spider Man. Let's go ahead and lock one. that in. Lock it in. A bing, 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 number three. Amazing Spider-Man 2, me thinks. Yeah, me yeah. thinks, me thinks too. Lock, it, Lock in. it in. Bing, 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 number four. The fastest number start. Number four. Of what is he? Time. What has you he have done? Number two, number three, yeah, number there's four. There's an Andrew Garfield movie in my brain that's not there. <clears throat> what movie was he a priest in? That was huge. Got Oscar noms. Oh, noms. yeah. Maybe even one. Fury. No, not no. Fury. Uh, Hacksaw Ridge. Yeah, Hacksaw Ridge. I'm thinking I'm I'm thinking it's Hacksaw Ridge. I'm thinking Hacksaw Ridge is number one. Hacksaw Ridge. Let's lock, lock it in. in. Oscar nominated in 2017 for best performance by an actor in a leading role in Hacksaw Ridge. Bon, bon. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. That's five points. You got extra credit. The hottest Whew. start by hey, far. Hey, what were you saying about it being hard? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Emma Stone. Being next, Andrew huh? Hardfield. <laughs> nice. Emma Stone. That was yeah. Emma Stone that next, stupid. I think. Don't don't make it happy. Easy A. Easy A, definitely. Easy A. Lock Lock it in. in. Bing, 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 bing. That's five credits in a row. Six points. La La Land. La La Land for sure. La La Land, lock it in. Lock it in. Bing, 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 bing. Six credits in a row. We're crazy stupid love. Question mark. Seven. Crazy stupid love is probably up there. For you, seven points. Wait. The help. Ooh. And the favorite. The Help, The Favorite, Crazy Stupid Love. Her last two credits are two of those three, I think. Wait, really? Yeah. I don't think there's… We have two credits left for her. Oh, I think it's you mean two. her… I thought you meant the last two things she's done. I was like, huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. I think her her final two credits on IMDb are two of those three. I don't think there's a movie that's in there that we haven't Crazy Stupid yet. Love should be there, which tells me that it probably isn't. I think The right. Favorite feels like the safest choice right now to me. Ugh, I don't feel like anybody saw that. <clears throat> I did. But that doesn't, that doesn't matter. I mean, I know you did, but you have a movie podcast. That's true. Says you. That's fair. Yeah, I guess I can't prove that. That's unsubstantiated. <laughs> yeah, let's let's do it. We got we got a guest to burn. You do the favorite. The favorite. Lock the it favorite, in. The favorite. Lock it in. Bong bong. Okay, fair enough. You want to do crazy stupid love? I do. Crazy yep. stupid love. Lock it in. Lock it in. Bong bong. All right. Oh Is man, been wrong in a row. You have seven points. Number one, La La Land. Number two, Easy A. Number three, The Help. Yeah. Number four, Birdman. Oh yeah, that makes oh, sense. Oh, that's yep. a good movie. <clears throat> that is a good movie. 
Um, so, one actor left that you have to get two credits to win. Mm-hmm. Man, will we, today we could miss a that. Heartbreaker. We we probably will. We could easily whiff that. Folks, who we could get two credits on. Yeah. I think we could get two of Jamie Foxx's top four. I think we could probably get two of Jamie Foxx's top four. For I sure. think we could get two Giamatti's. I don't know, man. <clears throat> I think we could get two Topher Graces. I don't think we could get two Topher Graces. You don't think we could get two Topher Graces? It's that 70s show, maybe Amazing Spider-Man 3. That's all I got. No way. He could... Uh, what's the movie where he played... Uh, David Duke, notable, terrible person. Oh, yeah. Black Klansman. Yeah, Black Klansman. That's probably definitely up there, That's probably in there. You want to swing at Topher? Swing at our extra boy? We've got got a That 70s show. We've got a Black Klansman. That would beef it. Let's beef it. it. Let's beef it loud. Let's beef it I feel like for Jamie Foxx. I just want to say this for Jamie Foxx. Baby Driver. Oh, okay. Then maybe Baby Driver. Definitely Django. Yeah, Django. Definitely Ray. Definitely Ray. Probably... Is he the is he the guy from what is it the cellist or whatever with Robert Downey Jr.? Am I oh, wrong about gosh, that? Gosh, I forgot about that movie. Adam says yes, it is him. Um, <gasps> is it? Uh, could he? Be, I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, we could. Fox is a pretty safe choice. Listen, we could win with Jamie, <laughs> and then it flex a, on Topher. It would be a real prestige move to win with Topher. <laughs> Do we go for the guaranteed win or the showboat win? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be our last extra credit of the year. Of the year. How do we want to end it? How do we want? How do we want two thousand? Oh, Carter says no. You it's can't not. speak that. You don't have. You said that we weren't power. gonna play think, any games for a long time. I said a long time. I didn't say for the year. I mean, we have like Listen, what five episodes left this year? Is it? I mean, people once they start to smell the holidays, once Christmas starts to show up, oh, we put okay. up the tree, we put up the garland. We put no. the roast. There's way less pressure on no. this now than. And then no. we expect extra credit. Tofi. Actually, it's, you go to I'm probably, we're probably not going to do it. Topher Grace. Okay. Eight ball, corner pocket of that dude's table, not even this table. Ooh. Okay. That 70s show. Lock it in. Lock it in. Bing, 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 bing. Eight points. Number Only one. One more. One. Let's go, Black Klansman. Lock it in. Black Klansman. Lock it in. Bong, bong. Dude. Who guesses left? Uh, Spider Man 3, lock it in. Yeah. Lock it in, Spider Man 3. <laughs> you have one extra credit. <laughs> oh, and that one was close. Hold on. Can I say what my guesses would have been for Jamie Foxx? You, could, you have one more guess for Topher Grace. Oh, yeah. Let's guess another Tophy. I don't know anymore. I saw him in something recently and remembered how much I love him. I really do like him a lot. Yeah, he's he's always good. I'm not a big. Oh, fan. Uh, are you Interstellar? Not- hmm. Interstellar. Who is he in Interstellar? Yeah, he plays Topher Grown Grace. Up Tim. He plays Topher Grace. <laughs> yeah, let's go for Interstellar. I don't even remember him being in that Interstellar. He's a gro- He's Timothy grown up. Yeah. No, he is. Okay. He is I'm Murph's like, husband. They- they did not cast that well because oh. it's like Topher, you're a good no, guy. Casey but. Affleck is Casey Affleck is him. Yeah, he's Murph's See, husband. That makes way more sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Murph's husband. Yeah. Topher Grace. To Jessica Chastain. Lock it in. Bong bong. Yeah. But you got yeah. you won the game. It's fine. Uh, cool. In Good Company. I have not seen I don't or heard know of that what movie, that is. But he plays a character named Carter. Uh, nice. and so you then, have to see it now. Win a date with Tad Hamilton. Oh. Number four from 2004. That was tough. You do the Jamie Foxx again. Yeah, let's just burn yeah, through yeah. those real quick. Uh, baby Django. Driver, Bong Bong, Django, Bing Bing, Ray, Ray, Bing Bing, The Cellist, Bong Bong. Okay, Collateral was number one. It was actually a really good movie. I don't know why it's his number one, but it was a great movie. It was him and, and Tom Cruise, uh, and then Dream Girls. Oh, okay. fun. Yeah. So to cool. end today's episode. I need you to tell me, and we've already done the Spider-Man stuff, right? We've already been like, what villain is going to show up that you're most excited about? Move that lizard man. Gets, Probably a lizard can't man. Can't get Spider-Man off the brain. In our two chunks multiverse, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get Doctor Strange to help us for this one. Today, also known as our, our sound wizard, Adam. He's opening up, he's opening up a portal to another yep. time. Yep, yep. And I want you to say the name of someone listening to this podcast right now. Just a first name. Of someone who's gonna who's gonna be on our Patreon, 
within the next 10 days. So they can't just already be there? They can't already they be can't there? Already be there. Yeah. They can't already be there. And I'm, I'm just… I'm trying to consult with the future right now. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm Carter and Harry. I'm picking up a Harry right mm. now. Harry. Mm. Welcome to Patreon, man. I'm, I'm so glad to have wow. you. I'm Doge. Um, manifesting out of the ether. I'm getting an M. I'm getting… There's a T in this name. I think I'm feeling Martin. Martin, if you're listening… Maybe check out, <laughs> maybe check out that Patreon. I, I think the universe is aligning. It's pulling you in a direction. This, is, this probably is your fate. It's your destiny. Why don't you hop on that Patreon? I'm Jordan and I have absolutely no doubt that this name is 100% correct. And I am confident that this is going to happen within the next 10 10 days. Timothy Chalamet. Oh, yes. Tim. Tim, glad to have you. Yes. I don't know who that is, but sounds good. Now that, hey, Tim, now that you're in here, have you considered a more normal spelling for both of your names? It's just hard when you go, I get it. Why doesn't, why am I the only one who sees the T in your last name, Tim? We need to highlight. Or we need to hijack a mini Monday, Doge, you and I, and have an intervention for the way Carter pronounces every name. <laughs> I'm, it's really bad. It's really it's bad. bad. It's okay. It's all right. It's not okay. You're right. Yeah. Holidays are here, and so is fashionable fitness. Gift yourself a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G, a phone that folds in half to literally stand on its own. Pair it with the Galaxy Watch 4 for ultimate wellness and wow factor. Check health stats, flex personal records. Over 90 activities can be tracked, like biking, swimming, golfing, and more. Invest in yourself with tech made to crush goals. Holidays open up with Galaxy. Shop it all at Samsung.com. 5G connection and availability may vary. Check with Carrier. Products sold separately. For the ones going above and beyond. For the ones reaching out, helping out, and lending a hand. For the ones people count on. You can count on Granger. Granger offers supplies and solutions for every industry, backed by 24-7 customer support and specialists to help with hard-to-find products. Because you've got everyone's back. We've got yours. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done.